All right, and welcome to combining imaginary and radical terms. Now let's go ahead and talk about example number one. What if I said something like 5i plus 3i? Well, what is 5i plus 3i? Well, remember they're both imaginary terms, and here we simply add their coefficients. 5i plus 3i is simply 8i. And notice the i remains the same. It's almost akin to if I had said 5x plus 3x, you would say that that is 8x. It's a similar idea. Okay, what's this going to look like when we include radicals? Okay, let's say we had 3 square roots of 2 plus 6 square roots of 2. Well, notice the square roots of 2s, those are essentially your like terms, so we can actually add them. When we have the same type of radical and the same number on the inside, they go together. We just add the coefficients. 3 plus 6 is going to be 9 square roots of 2. And there's our answer there. Now, I think it's always helpful to see some examples that don't work out. So let's take a look at example number 3. What if I did 4i squared plus 3i? And I said, okay, well, what does that equal? Well, you would say, you know what, they uh, can't, you say they can't combine. So if they can't combine, 4i squared plus 3i is simply 4i squared plus 3i. They have to remain separate because they're not like terms. Okay, let's explore this a little bit further. Okay, here we have example 4 where we have 8 square roots of 5 minus 12 square roots of 5. Notice because the square root of 5 and the square root of 5, they're both the same type of radical square roots and they both have the same number on the inside, 5, we can actually combine our like terms here. 8 minus 12 will, of course, give us negative 4 square roots of 5. Okay, what about 3i squared plus 8i squared? Notice that these are both i squared, I'm sorry, i cubes. They're both i cubes, and so 3 plus 8 will give us 11i cubed. Okay, very nice. Let's go on to example 2. Here we have 9 square roots of 3 plus 10 square roots of 5, and you'll notice that the inside of the square root is a different number. Here, this is another example of where we cannot combine. So I'll just say CC can't combine. And so this would really just be 9 square roots of 3 plus 10 square roots of 5. It cannot be simplified. Okay, let's move on to example number 7. Here we have 6i cubed minus 7i squared plus 8i cubed. Well, guys, notice our i cubes will go together. And 6 plus 8 will give us 14i cubed minus 7i squared, that one that couldn't be combined. Now we got one more very important example, so give me one second. Okay, here's our last example, and we have 3 fourth roots of 5 minus 10 square roots of 5. So you'll notice these are actually different radicals. So even though the number on the inside is the exact same, we actually cannot combine here the fourth root of 5 is not a similar term to the square root of 5. They're not like terms. They cannot be combined. So what would we say? Well, we say it's just 3 fourth roots of 5 minus 10 square roots of 5. So this is another example where the radical itself has to be the exact same. All right, good luck, and I'll see you all in our next video.